and sister? Right? So the white man teach us to hate ourselves. And then we hate our own people with the perspective of what the news tell you. But out of Boko Haram and America, who kill more people? Out of Boko Haram and Russia, who kill more people? Who Boko Haram ever in there? But you all hate him, right? So you see? Simple. But you love the white man. You come here and have respect for him. You walk in the shop now, everybody get up and sir. Sir. Exactly. The Chinese coming is the same thing. The Chinese coming is taking over Africa now. Brother, it's time we have to wake up. We have to know about our true potential. You're from the Igbo tribe, right? That's an Igbo tribe, right? He's an Igbo. Exactly. So that is why they are like Why you think nobody in the world like Nigeria? Who put that perspective on? The white man. And then black, other African nations believe it. Exactly. Because the white man in Israel is not the Jew. The white man in Israel is an imposter. Just like the white man going to South Africa and says African. Is he African? He's going to America and says American. Is he American? The white man is a vagabond, brother. You understand me? So this is how we have to love ourselves. Okay, you have to build up your children. You have a child. Your mother that you to get a good job at the airport, right? They get to work at the airport in immigration. They'll be happy, right? Being servant for some money. Exactly. While well, look at Trump. Trump was president. Never went to college. Bill Gates never went to college. You want to farm? Huh? You want to farm at some? No, Trump was a, um, not a farmer, realtor, real estate. You buy land and sell it back, buy old building and sell it back. So none of these people go to college, but you all in Africa going to college work what? Nothing a month? They pay you monthly, right? Huh? In the West, they pay weekly. Weekly. You understand me? So that's why I said, brother, even when I read the Bible, it's going to tell you that the children of Israel are going to slavery and cargo slave ships. You understand me? When you read the Bible and you read the history, those people were our foreparents, our ancestors. So they were in slavery many times and God delivered them over it. So that's the same way now. We return back to God, God will deliver us. Man. So go and do your work, my brother. You have my number, so just call me. You said Peter, Matthew, John. That's three. So you see, the church not teaching you nothing, my brother. No, he's teaching. All right, name the twelve disciples. Name, name the twelve closest person to Christ. The twelve closest persons to Christ was the disciples. Name them. Yes. Peter. Peter one. Two. Three. James. Four. Five. Philip. Name the Ten Commandments. Hey, can do. Hey, can do. Yes. 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 This is not difficult. So as I said, name them. Name them. It's not that I don't know them. What you learn in the church yesterday? Huh? What you learn in the church yesterday? In the church yesterday. Yeah, what you learn? In the church yesterday, you say that the topic that uh, we did, the topic says uh, What's the topic? The topic says uh, the topic you say that My brother, let me tell you something. Christianity started the exact time as slavery. Slavery in the west coast of Africa started 1503 by Cortes. The letter J came in 1523. So you see what the white man do? He used Christianity to enslave us as a nation of people. We're not Christian. There's no quotation in the Bible that Christian will be saved. But there's quotation in the Bible that tells the children of Israel will be saved. And as you are Igbo from Nigeria, the Igbo, the Yoruba, um, the Igbo, y'all come from that Igbo tribe. And you know this. So when you're in Christian church, you must keep the Sabbath. Do you eat pork? 
Do you eat pork? Do you eat pork? I don't understand that one. Do you eat swine? Swine, yeah. Pig. Pig. Yes, I eat pig. And you know you come from an Hebrew tribe, but you're trying to express the laws of God. Let me ask you something. The Bible said the children of Israel are the south of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? The yes. Bible said the children of Israel are the south of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You listening to brother, I'm talking yeah. to you too. Name one sports what the nation better than us in. The Bible said the children of Israel are the south of the earth. Meaning the earth cannot do without the children of Israel. Name does the Arab better than us in any sport? Does the white man better than us? I'll mash up I'll come back and talk to you about Do your business. Brother, what, what, what country are you born? What country are you born? You're born in Nigeria, right? Yes. So I'm asking you now, what Nigeria means? What Nigeria means? What it means? You don't know because the white man never tell you. I know. So what's the meaning of Nigeria? The meaning of Nigeria is people born in the Niger area. Niger era? Yes. Niger era? Yes. And who did, who did the white man call nigger? Eh? Is the... But look, 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 look how I'm going to confound you now. Look how I'm going to confound you now. Do you know the word nigger is in the Bible? No. You don't know that? Yeah. Give me a Bible. Give me a Bible, let me show you something. And your phone. Give me a Bible, let me show you something. Because the word nigger is in the Bible. The word nigger, you never know that? All right, go to Acts 13, verse 1, brother. This is since you start teaching where they say a shop full. You see your shop full, right? You're getting blessing for them. You okay, sir? Acts 13, verse 1, my brother. No, you read it. I know what you're saying. Okay. So we're going to show him that the word nigger is in the Bible. Did you know that? Okay. My job with your sister. But you need to be here too. This Bible says. In the church, right? No. You're studying for a pastor, right? No, I'm not. I just study Bible for myself. And remember, you said Nigeria means nigger land. We're reading Acts 13, verse 1. I said, No, there was in the church that was at Antia certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon Peter that was called what? What they were called? Niger. Niger. What the word Niger mean? Dark skin. So when the white man call us nigger in slavery, they call the disciples nigger too. Nothing changed. That's why in Mali you have the Niger River run what, 20 miles. So the people the white man took from those regions, those are the ones they call nigger. So there's nothing strange. All the disciples and the people of the Bible were black people. And your pastor will never teach you that in church. So as I say, you have the flyers. And you have my number. Okay. And keep the Sabbath and stop it and clean food, man. Because the Bible gave us what dietary laws, what to eat. Okay? So we can go and eat what we, what we feel to eat. But, you might hear the but. The, the, uh, the, 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 the Bible also says that mm -hmm. in the New Testament, yes? That that is nothing unclean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the best you can come with. Yeah? That's the best you can come with. You're talking Acts the ten chapter, right? Mm -hmm. You're talking Acts the ten chapter, right? With the vision with Peter. Yes. But he wasn't talking about animal. He wasn't talking about food. Because who Peter meet after that? Carnelus. Peter never meet a pig or a cow. So the vision what he get was about people, and it was about our own people. But that was divided. Because Peter being an Israelite, Carnelius was an Israelite too, but they were divided. Because Carnelius was part of the ten tribes. 
So at that time, the, the three tribes, remember when Jesus came in the New Testament, right? It was only three tribes in Israel. The ten tribes lived before. So what the Heavenly Father was doing, he was bringing back the ten tribes. So the Most High was just telling Peter that they're not unclean. They're still the children of Israel. So it wasn't talking about food. So, all right. If you even think you talk about food, name one prophet in the Bible that eats one food. So, why do you think you talk about food? Because people in Africa are eating dogs, cat, bush meat. Name one prophet in the Bible that eats one food. We'll talk later. It's your salvation. You have the flyer. You have my number. Alright. Yes, it's lunchtime. Limes, organic.
have so much more. The moon looked good in the sky. Early morning stroll in Togo. Just get smuggled across the border. So it's 4.40 in the morning. Don't even know what the hell to the date is. I think what, the 22nd? Mm. So this is a French city. So after the French rub up all the substance, this is what they left. This is how black people do business. No way different than Jamaica, Haiti, so-called Caribbean. But with all the substance that this place have, the gold, mineral, the diamond, the oil, they still paying the French. Listen, man. People did something on us, man. Black woman, early in the morning. Should be home with her children and her husband. But the struggle is real. Back in the 80s, that's how we used to sweep in Jamaica too. Coconut leaf as broom. But the thing in Africa is, <laughs> they still use those bush leaf as broom. When the sun come out, I'll show you all some more. So, you just have to build till about eight, nine. have nice part but as usual the nice part is not for poor people 